So you just picked up the Sony a6400. You bring it home and you realize, hmm, maybe I need some accessories. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my top five accessories for the Sony a6400. And make sure you stick around till the end as I'm going to give you a bonus accessory that's just over $50. If you're new to my channel, my name is Brian the Camera Guy, and I review Sony gear. So if you're new to my channel and you want to hear more about that, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about my top five accessories for the Sony a6400. And make sure you stick around till the end as I'm going to give you a bonus accessory that's just over $50. So let's go ahead, jump right into the first accessories. First accessory, of course, you got the Sony a6400. It's a great camera at a great price point, but it does suck a lot of juice. So the first accessory that you're gonna need is a bunch of extra batteries. Now you can go out and spend over $50 and buy one Sony battery, or you can pick up some of the knockoff batteries, like the ones that I have here from RAV Power. These batteries come in just under $40. You get two of them, and you get a charger. They're great must have, so go ahead and pick up a couple of these. Now, if you're interested in any of these products that I'm talking about, I will put links down in the description below. So the second accessory that's a must have, if you picked up your A6400, you know, obviously, part of the reason why you picked it up probably is because it has a flip up screen. The only problem with that is the hot shoot is right in front of the flip up screen. So Small Rig has come up with this great alternative, this little bracket right here. So small rigs come up with this little bracket right here, which is super handy. So what you do is you mount this into the hot chute and it creates a cold chute that pushes right out of the way of the flip up screen. So this way you can get your nice audio while still being able to frame yourself in the shot. So the small rig cold chute relocator will run you just under $15. Now the next thing up is you just picked up the a6400. You probably picked up the standard kit lens just so you had a lens to go with it. But you get it home and you realize, there's no cap for the lens or for the camera itself. Well, I got your solution right here. For under $5, you can pick up a rear lens cap and you can also pick up a camera cap. So this way, when you take it apart, you have something to protect that sensor. Last thing you wanna do is get dirt and dust on that sensor when you just got the camera. So the next tip that I have for you is, if you got that flip up screen, you're probably gonna want something like this, like a little Gorilla Pod. Now, you just dropped a lot of money on the camera, so maybe you don't want to pick up some that's $100, $130. So I got a great alternative here. This is the Akron tripod. So it comes apart just like a Joby Gorilla Pod. But it also comes with it also comes with a little clip thing that comes on top. So if you're doing some video and you want to use your cell phone because you want to do some quick run and gun, you can mount your cell phone onto this. And this comes in under $20, you can get it on Amazon. And it does give you enough support so you can comfortably vlog, if that's what you're looking to do, vlog with your a6400. The final accessory is all about audio. And this is a three-in-one accessory here. These are three separate products that run about $50 or less. So these are three separate products because of course, last thing you wanna do is rely on that camera audio. So for our final accessories, of course, I have the Rode Video Mic Row. So this is a video mic row. This thing comes in just over $50, but of course, you're not gonna wanna rely on that camera audio. Even though it's good, you don't wanna rely on that when you're out there vlogging. So of course, you got your cold shoot mount, and then you got your Rode video mic row, and you go ahead, you mount that right on there. So you wanna go ahead, mount that right on there. And then of course, because it's relocator, you're gonna stretch that cable over to the other side. It also comes with a nice dead cat, so you can put that right on there. Now, when you're doing headshot videos like this one, you also want to have some better audio as well. So if you can't afford a nice boom mic that's going to run you maybe maybe $100 to $300, I got a great alternative for you. It will cost you $20. So then that's the Boya M1 Lav Mic. Now, this thing can also work with your cell phone. So it's got this little on-off cell phone switch right here. So it's got this nice on-off cell phone switch. So you turn that on when you're using it with your camera and you turn it off if you wanna use it for your cell phone. So you can get nice audio even if you have a cell phone. My final audio tool is one of these splitter things. So what you do is you plug this into your camera and it has two ports for it. So if you're interviewing somebody and you wanna have two lav mics, 
you can use this splitter, plug it right into the mic port, and then plug in two lav mics into it, and you'd have audio for both people. All right, so those are my top five accessories. So you got your power, you got your protection for your camera, you got your cold shoot mount, you got your tripod, your mini tripod vlogging setup, and of course you got your audio. So at this point, you've stuck around all the way to the end, and I really appreciate that. And I promise you a final tip that's gonna help level up your video making. Now, we're gonna talk about a variable ND filter. So of course, you're gonna to wanna to put on a variable ND filter, obviously, when you go outside. Even for some of these talking head videos, having an ND filter helps if you have a really bright hot light. So ND filters can range anywhere from $20 all the way up to over three, dollars $400 for top of the line. You bought a semi-budget camera. I mean, it's still expensive, but you bought a semi-budget camera. So you wanna make sure you don't put a cheap filter on it is that will wreck your image. So my recommendation is to get a variable ND filter. So on the camera right now, I do have the k &F Concept variable ND filter. Now this is a two to five stop reduction. So even shooting indoors, I have an ND filter on here. You can put it on, keep that ISO as low as possible. You can pick these up for about $65. Now they are made by the same company that makes the B&W ND filters. So if you know anything about them, they do make great quality. So these are kind of their low, lower tier budget friendly, budget friendly ND filters. My recommendation is to get the 82 millimeter ND filter. Here in the US it runs at $63. But if you get that, you're gonna need to get some step up rings. The reason why you're getting step up rings is because you need to step up from the lens diameter up to the ND filters diameter. So those are my top five accessories with that bonus accessory. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to see more, hit that bell notification, and don't forget, I'm Brian the Camera Guy, and these have been the top five accessories for the Sony A6400. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And hey, it's Lily. She's a member of our other channel, Three Princess Productions. Bye. Bye.